In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about the canvas, a little bit about layers, a lot about stacking, and then I'm going to show you how I create a piece of geometric art. There's a lot to cover, so let's get started. When you open Inkscape, by default, you're presented with a white canvas. What I want you to understand is you are not drawing on a white canvas. You are actually drawing on a transparent canvas. You're presented with a white canvas because it's convenient to draw on white. We usually uh, use white paper and quite frankly at the current time there's no way for Inkscape to present you with a transparent canvas. I want to show you something. If I click File, Document Properties, I open up the Document Properties dialog box. If I come down here and check Checkerboard Background, Inkscape changes my canvas to a checkerboard background. This background is a reminder to you that you are working on a transparent canvas. I'm going to close the document properties dialog box so that I can show you something. If I come over here and click the rectangle tool and then create a rectangle come down here and click the color white to give the rectangle a white fill hold down the shift key and click the color white again to give the rectangle a white stroke then click my selector tool and click on the canvas to unselect the rectangle. Then click File, Document Properties again to open up the Document Properties dialog box and then uncheck this box, Checkerboard Background. You'll see that it's impossible for me to distinguish the rectangle I created and my canvas. But what I want you to know is whether you have checkerboard background checked or checkerboard background unchecked, when you print your document, this area here, the black line, will define the page and this area here will be transparent. So if you print on blue paper, this area here will be blue and this will be white. And that's true whether you have checkerboard background checked or checkerboard background unchecked. I'm now going to uh, close the document properties dialog box and then click on my rectangle to select it and press the delete key. We're now ready to move on to our next topic. You may be familiar with layers. If I click layer, layers, I open up the layers dialog box. And you can think of layers as a stack of transparent sheets. You can see through each sheet to the sheets below until you add opaque color. Let me demonstrate. By default, Inkscape always has one layer and it's called layer one. If I 
double click on the layer name I can change it and I'm going to change it to blue then I'm going to come over here and activate the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle I'm then going to give the rectangle a blue fill then I'm going to click the create new layer button that opens up the add layer dialog box I'm going to add a new layer and I'm going to name it green I'm going to place it above the current layer So now I have two layers, green layer and a blue layer, and the green layer is on top. And because this area is shaded, I know that I'm on the green layer. I'm going to draw another rectangle. And I'm going to give it a green fill by clicking on the color green. So as you can see, I have two rectangles, a green rectangle and a blue re rectangle, and the green rectangle appears to be on top of the blue rectangle. I'm going to click on the selector tool so you can see things a lot more clearly. So there we have it. So again, I know I'm on the green layer because it's, it's got this gray shading. If I click this button, it'll send the green layer to the bottom, and what happens is now it appears as if my uh, blue rectangle is on top of my green rectangle. So this is the layers dialog box and the order things appear in here is the order in which items are stacked and you can see through each layer to the layers below until you add opaque color and objects on higher layers appear to be on top of objects on lower layers. Okay, so that's all I'm going to cover right now about layers. I want to move on to the next topic which is stacking, but before I do that I'm going to click this button to delete the green layer now we're on the blue layer. I'll click it again to delete the blue layer. Then I'll click this button to add a layer. And it's going to be called Layer 1. So we're back at the point that we would have been by default when we first opened up Inkscape. We can start talking about stacking. Okay, so we have one layer and it's named layer one. What I want you to know is that even when you are within a single layer Inkscape stacks objects. I'm going to create a series of rectangles. I'm going to do that by selecting the rectangle tool and then dragging to create a rectangle then coming down here and clicking a color to give the rectangle a fill holding down my shift key again to give my rectangle a stroke of the same color. I'm going to create four rectangles and I'll be using the same process to create all of them. So, Creating a rectangle giving it a color fill giving it a color stroke 
I'm creating a rectangle, giving it a color fill, giving it a color stroke. Creating a rectangle, giving it a color fill, giving it a color stroke. Okay, I'm now clicking on my selector tool and just clicking on my canvas and so nothing is selected. Um, but what I want you what I want you to notice is the first rectangle I created is on the bottom. The next rectangle I created is one level up. The next rectangle I created is one level up from that. And the next rectangle I created is one level up from that. So when you are when you draw on a layer in Inkscape the first thing you draw is on the lowest level. The next thing you draw is on the next level up. The next thing you draw is on the next level up from that. And the next thing you draw is on the next level up from that. So forth and so on. But you can change the levels. For example, if I select this pink rectangle and I want to bring it to the top, I can click this icon, raise selection to top, and it comes all the way to the top. If I select this rectangle and I want to send it to the bottom, I can click this icon, lower selection to bottom, and it goes all the way to the bottom. I can also move objects one level at a time if I select this rectangle again and then click this icon, lower selection one step, it'll move down one step at a time. It's still selected. If I want to move it up, I can click this icon and it'll move up one step at a time. And that's stacking. Now that I have all of these nice little rectangles, I want to show you how I can easily create a piece of geometric art. I'm going to start by selecting the rectangle tool and then I'm going to start here at the corner of my page and create a rectangle the size of my page. Then I'm going to come over here and give it a black fill. I'm then going to click my selector tool to select the rectangle and then I'm going to send it all the way to the bottom. And there I have you know, a fairly decent piece of geometric art, but I'm going to make some changes. I think I'll start with these, this uh, green rectangle. I'll select it, and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and then bring it over here. Then I'll select my orange rectangle and move it over here. Just about there. Then I'll select my, I guess this is a gray, grayish color. And I'll make this rectangle a little bit bigger. Right about there seems okay. Then I'm going to take this rectangle and select it. And then I'm going to click this icon, rotate 90 degrees, 
that'll flip it and I'll bring it here it's a little tall so I'll make it a little bit smaller and I think I'll place it right about here and uh, just make this one a little bit shorter bring this over a little bit and I have a design I like well enough Maybe this needs to be down a little bit. I'm going to hold down my Alt key and press my a down arrow key. That'll allow me to nudge this down just a little. I want it to be flush with my pink. And I think I've got it. Except for maybe it needs to be nudged a little bit to the right. So I'm holding down my Alt key and pressing my right arrow. Okay. So there's my basic design. Looks kind of plain. I think I'll add some circles to it. So I'll click on the circle tool and then I will hold down my control key and click and drag. That should allow me to make a perfect circle. There we have it. Then I'm going to come here and give my circle a brown fill. Hold down my shift key and click the color, color brown again to give it a brown stroke. And then I'm going to drag my circle onto my page. So yes, I like that. But I want a few more circles, so I'm going to select the circle. Then I'm going to come up here and click this icon, Duplicate Selected Objects. And that'll duplicate the circle. But Inkscape always puts the duplicate directly on top of the original. So I'm going to hold down my Control key and drag downward. And holding the Control key allows me to drag straight down without going a little to the left or a little to the right. We just go straight down and put a circle there. Then I'm going to duplicate this circle. It's selected, so I click this icon and then hold down my control key and drag down. Oh, no. Now I have a circle there. And I like that. I'm finished. We've got ourselves a piece of geometric art.